run the R plus analysis using ETAP software. The first thing we need to do is to go to this R plus mode. Here is this network where 33 KB system, 6.6 KB, and LV 415 volt level switchboards are drawn here so first of all we need to do is the brief case this uh, case editor or plus case editor we need to configure this one first so this is the info page here this report contribution level how many levels uh, how many voltage levels you want to do three levels two levels or one levels that means 415 volt and 6.6 kb or 415 volt 6.6 kb and 33 kb so three levels you can consider also here i am considering two levels only motor contribution based on motor status that's fine and here is the uh, fault we need to create uh, fault at all the buses or uh, whatever buses are required if we if we want this bus 4 5 6 9 10 this uh, these buses need not to be considered then you can you can avoid or better all the buses to be faulted so all buses I have created fault next step is that method here is the method we will go as per IEEE 1584 2018 IEEE 1584 2018 as per this standard this R plus calculation will be carried out by ETAP software here incident energy for LV equipment this is 1.2 calorie per centimeter square and IBF is less than equals to 2 kiloamps next step is coming clearing time here fall clearing time FCT main protective device isolation individual or global main protective device isolation that means uh, let's say circuit breaker go to the next step parameter step over here here bus gap working distance individual okay r plus boundary this is important it can be user defined also and by default it is 1.2 calorie per centimeter square incident energy level incident energy level as for nfps 70 2012 to 2021 and here one important thing to notice here this edit or approve pp if we go here 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 are the standards so as per which standards suppose nfps 70 2004 there are level 0 1 2 3 4 we will go as per this nfps 70e 2012 to 2021 so here you can see there are lot of levels level a b c d e f g up to this g this energy level is defined as 2 4 8 25 40 100 and 120 after that you can define also these are basically user defined you can change also you can change also so you can change like this but this is the by default value this level a means 2 calorie per centimeter square this is the incident energy level level b is the 4 calorie per centimeter square level c 8 and level d 25 suppose some of the cases you can uh, this pp PP is available up, up to this 25 calorie per square centimeter 
so after that you cannot uh, get the standard pp in the market maybe show if it is greater than 25 or 40 and above then uh, that pp is not available in the market so in that case we need to mitigate we need to uh, uh, provide some mitigation steps such as uh, that maintenance activity in the switchboards should be done in de-energized condition or maintenance setting we can do during maintenance time that relay setting can be changed to the maintenance setting so that the incident energy level will be well below this 25 near about uh, 20 calorie per square centimeter so this is the pp and let's approve this one we are approving this pp okay so this is one of the important parameters you need to approve in this pp next is the adjustment any impedance tolerance for transformer reactor okay i have a uh, little bit here like this next here is the important tab here is c standard this short circuit calculation standard with standard we are following this calculation so we'll go as for iec standard iec standard the short circuit current max so this maximum short circuit condition the c factor is 1.05 for lb system that means less than 1 kb and for mb system this is 1.1 and also greater than 230 kb this is 1.1 so this is c factor oh, we are using this during maximum short circuit condition and here is the method calculation method method c we will follow method c here c max for impedance adjustment 1.05 for plus minus 6 percent voltage tolerance so these are okay device duty based on total bus fault current uh, use ics for service capacity for lv circuit breaker total bus fault current this is okay so these are the important parameters and here is the alert you can say it alert here also critical or marginal alert this is not so important so the main thing is here this standard based on which ic or nc standard this maximum short circuit will be calculated this is one of the most important parameters we need to define here here in that parameter tab approve or edit pp you need to approve pp level here is the fct for clearing time and here is the r class method which as per which standard you are uh, you are going to calculate this this is as per ieee 158 for 2018 standard we are using this method and here this is 1.2 calorie per square centimeter and all the buses uh, need to be faulted here and the labels also you can define so these this is the this is the case study this is the r class study case editor these parameters you need to you need to configure so this is the maximum condition you can create also another case another case study that is for the minimum short circuit condition during minimum short circuit condition all the parameters will remain same only only the standard this sc standard short circuit standard tab under this tab you need to select this minimum you need to select this minimum where this c factor will be 0 0.9 0 0.95 for lb system and for mb and EGB system this is one so we need to change this and we are considering here this maximum short circuit condition so that's why this c factor is 1.05 for lb system and for and 1.1 for mb and hb system so these are all we have we are done so in the next video i will i will cover the detail r class 
arc plus analysis uh, for this for this entire system for this entire system and i will analyze uh, what are the what are the errors are coming or how we can adjust so case studies i will discuss in the next video